where he then went to the casino Shit. and reportedly urinated while seated at the blackjack table. How much is bail? 90 grand. Shit, that's got to be a record, hasn't it? What the fuck is that? That would be my piss. No, sometimes my behaviour can be tiring. This is exactly what Wary needs at the moment. This is my apple juice. Take it. Someone call an ambulance! What's the point? What I'm not worried about it. Mark loves sluts, has a nice ring to it. Travelling steadily upwards, things are going fine. Now we're starting to taper off. There's a no, hope there's nothing to slush fund. Mark, get out. seem a bit out of the ordinary to be in the office at 6am, but uh, as you're well aware, managing Mark Wary is no ordinary business. You hear that? Hmm? That is the sound of Mark Wary not in trouble. Beautiful sound. Usually only heard when he's fast asleep or... Jesus! Attention everyone, we have a code four. Repeat a code four. What's a code four? What's a code four? Where's our bloody booklet? Oh, I got the booklet. It's me, please. Please proceed to the designated meeting area. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Intruder, stop where you are. Repeat, stop where you are. The police have been notified. You gotta hand it to Jay. You know, after a crisis, he's amazing. He's a machine. He's all over it. During a crisis, nah. Be warned, I am armed and will respond with extreme prejudice to clear and present danger. They say, cometh the hour, cometh the man. And I like to think I cameth in Mark's hour. The emergency procedures I insisted on implementing were an unmitigated success. Almost. Right, good, great. Everyone's here? No? Mark, where's Mark? Well, he went outside to see what's going on. God damn it, he knows better than to go outside. Is that a stun gun, Jerry? Yes, yes it is. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome to the show, Royston John Wary. <laughs> Shut up! Make a fucking song and dance just because your old man comes to visit you. Got sick of waiting for you to visit me. Yeah, that's because I don't know where you live, you prick. I get that hey, fucking whoa, thing whoa, out whoa. of here. Dad, he's relaxed, he's on our side. That's Eddie, he's top bloke. Our side? Jeez, that'd be a first. Hey, careful where you're pointing that thing, son. Might go off, as Mark's mum used to say to me in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Dad. We find most people use the front door to access the house, Roy. Yeah, wake every bastard up in the process. How you doing, Roy? Jeez, it's not as good as you by the look of things, Sledge. What are you feeding the bastard? Babies. Hi, Roy. Jesus Christ, get up out of this. No wonder your form's gone to shit. If I woke up next to this every morning, I wouldn't get out of bed either. How are you, Karen? Sharon. I'll be in my office. Hello. I'm here half an hour, you don't even offer me a beer. Oh shit, sorry. I'm going to bed, Mark. It's nice to see you, Roy. Be up in a minute, love. Hey, no, you won't. You're getting fat. Am I? Well, I just said so, didn't I? What do you think? I've got the sound of my own voice. Well, you do it, karaoke. Well, this isn't karaoke. Beer. Hey, give your old man a hug. Come on. <laughs> beer, come on. Roy Wary, where do I begin? Last time he was here, he used one of Mark's credit cards to buy a mail-order bride. Don't get me wrong, uh, Sung Lee turned out to be a fantastic bookkeeper. She's a wizard my ob, but uh, trouble does run in the weary family, yes. I can't believe Roy's timing. Madison from WOW magazine is coming today to do a colour piece on the interior design. It's a relationship milestone for Mark and I. Our first magazine article in our house as a couple. I hope she likes the Tibetan cushions. What do you think? 
Mark did most of the interior design before we met, so I can't take full responsibility. But I like to think I stamp my own sense of style onto it. Get out of the way. Don't mind me. We won't. I know Sledge and Tommo won't get off their asses, but I expected Mark to give me a hand cleaning up. Move, will ya? Pigs! Now he'll be upstairs trying to impress bloody Roy all morning. It's great having Daddy. He's got a knack for turning up whenever things are going good. What do you want to play for? Well, let's play for Sharon. <laughs> you have to ask Sharon that. Look at this. Hey? That's <laughs> not bad. He doesn't let me get ahead of myself. That's my dad. That's that bad luck, dad. eh? That is my dad. <laughs> yeah. He's very competitive. You've got to keep an eye on him, though. So, hey. You didn't you? No, you didn't. You missed hey, it. Hey, come on. Did you want to wear a lot of sports stars have their parents busting their balls 24-7. At least mine only busts them yeah. once in the blue moon. I'm getting the frog in here. You getting the lesson? Isn't this great? Yeah. Hey? Yeah, yeah. How long since we played pool? Too long. Hey? Too bloody long, hey? He's only got my best interests at heart. Right. Or so he keeps telling me. What do you where I get it from? You can see where I get it from. All the shame, eh? Uh, it's good to see your old man's got a Guernsey. Even if I was misquoted. Oh no. That'll be game, set, and match. <laughs> Go on. Go here. I know he loves me. Good game, son. <laughs> Good game. He loves me a lot more when I let him win. <laughs> There's me mum at the state championships. Mum was a dead set legend at the 400 metre, eh, Dad? Yeah, she wasn't bad. And that's her coach, Uncle Mick. He wasn't really my uncle, but he was around so much, I just called him that. Yeah, top bloke, Uncle Mick. Whatever happened to Uncle Mick, Dad? Oh, I don't fucking know. Go and get your old man a beer, will you? Yeah, yeah. Dad always goes quiet when I mention Uncle Mick. I don't think those two got on. Tell you what, you're thirsty today. Might have to send a sledge mice out to get some more supplies. You bloody will not. You've forgotten about what's happening today, haven't you, Mark? Jude Law's on Oprah. I hope you've forgotten that. Madison from WOW magazine's coming over to do a colour piece on the house. I'm showing you the Tibetan cushions. You be careful, Bubby. You got your little fingers burnt last time she did a story on you. Yeah, but that wasn't her fault. The editor chopped out the part where I said in moderation. Just be careful. Bazooka! Well, everything I am is because of Dad. When Mum died, he had to get back out there with his karaoke, um, hitting the pubs and that. And I just had so much time on my hands, I threw myself into my sport. Um, just looked after the place, got strong type thing. So everything I am is because of Dad. And yeah, I guess I feel like I owe him. Well, keep going, boy. Right, I need a break, Dad. Oh, man's killing me. Your ass will be killing you when it gets a Dunlop KT26 up, eh? These are worth 40 bucks on eBay. Well, put in, boy, put in. Don't throw that away, you dickhead. Jeez, there's money to be made there. Sign it. Right now, drink it. Slow and make sure the signature's out. That's it. Ah, look at that. Some of your best work, that's all. Right. Right. Okay. I think he is proud of me, yeah. I don't believe for a second he knows his way around eBay. He'll be giving them away to his mates or sick kids or using them to pull a root, something like that. Where's Mark? Oh, he'll be down later. Let me show you the new cushions in the lounge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is uh, Barry. Hi, Barry. He's uh, taking some photos. Oh, my God, this is amazing. Well, you try not to let it affect you, but it's hard. It takes me an hour to get ready these days just to go to Bunnings. Oh, I can't believe the trash they put in that magazine. They never let the truth get in the way of a good story. Well, that's why we keep you the exclusives. At least you put a bit of the truth in there as well. Oh, thanks, Sharon. So, this room is... Ah, uh, this is the sitting room. Except you're not allowed to sit in it, unless you have prior permission. Oh, you guys are fine. It's amazing! Yeah, it's dedicated to Mark's mum, Teresa. That's her in the urn over there. 
Teresa, is it? Mum Teresa. She oh. passed away when Mark was eight. Oh. Yeah, his dad's still with us, though. Right now, actually. Oh, what, here? Now? Um, yeah, he's not very talkative. Oh, oh! Just give it a yell! I heard someone do it! Piss off! Guys! Get out, you idiots! You're gonna break something! Sorry, Mum Teresa. Come on, you oh. Uh, Madison? Madison? You gotta show a bit of respect, son. Appreciate what people have done for you. Yeah, I appreciate it, Dad. Ah, uh, you weren't even supposed to be here, boy. You are meant to be a stain on the carpet. Fortune's looked down upon you and given you an opportunity in your old man's abilities. You owe it to us to reach your full potential. That means your potential earnings as well. Yeah. There he is. The Aussie sporting legend himself. Oh, thank you very much, madam. Well, Mark's here as well. <laughs> Good one, Dad. Hey, Madison, you know Royston, don't you? Not in the biblical sense. But it's still early. You fancy a drink, Matty? Uh, yeah, I would love one. But what I'd really love is a little picture of you and Mark together. <laughs> you do that? We do that. Suck that in, mate. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look out. Look out. Look out. Here he goes, Roy, with a big one. Oh, you want <laughs> open, Dad. Whack. Get here. Get here. Come on, son. Get here. Get here. Dad. Dad. 20 years ago, you might have had a chance, Dad. Not anymore. The old man's alive with the party as usual. I think Madison might have finally met a match. Righto, what's the matter, Bubby? What's the matter? She's gonna make the whole article about you and bloody Roy now. She probably won't even show the cushion. Yes, she will. <laughs> yes, she will. <laughs> Madison? Madison? Um, these are Sharon's cushions. Wow, they are magnificent. Uh, Barry, 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 a couple of shots. A couple of these, mate. Can I take two? Beautiful. Gorgeous, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but now we really must have to, we've got to go. Yeah, well, thanks, Mark. Thank you, Mark. You've got to know how to play the game. Give the media what they want and keep the missus happy. Sorted. A lot of people think my dad's no good, but that's selling him short. He's very resourceful. Hey, Dad, what's going on? I was just trying out the new camera. Oh, she's a little beaut. What sort is it? <laughs> hey, that's one of our cameras. What? Yeah, it's out of the back of the van. Piss off. You calling my dad a thief? No. I'd love for him to come and work for Team Wary, but it doesn't sit well with him. I guess it'd be hard to work for your own son. That's why he suggests a 50-50 split in the business. That way he's working for himself and not just me. He's very resourceful, my old man. Ah, Roy. I wondered when you'd be dropping by. It certainly has been great to see you and uh, no doubt you'll time your next visit to cause maximum disruption as well. Yeah. This is very generous, Jerry. Let's keep this to ourselves, eh? Well, we wouldn't want to hurt Mark, would we? No. Which is why I've decided to stick around for a while. Cast an eye over things, make, make sure people have got his best interests at heart. After all, I'm the only family he's got. What about Uncle Mick? He's not his fucking uncle, OK? Anyway, uh, I'll be running the ship from now on. We'll keep you on in some capacity to do whatever it is you do. Keep him out of trouble. <laughs> well, fuck me. Is that what you do, Jeff? Every time you walk out that door, you make a monkey of yourself and you get that from your mother. Settle down, Dad. And what's all this shit about drugs charges and slutting around and blowing in night? Oh, you know what newspapers like, Dad? I know you can't read, but if you could, well, don't believe everything you could. I didn't raise you to carry on like a pork chop. Now, people look up to you, you fucking dickhead. Leave by example. You're a fucking role model. Leave boy, dear. It's all right. Mark has prepared a brief statement and he'll read that now. You turn that off, would you, Tommy? No, hang on a minute. Let's have a look at the dynamic duo at work. Come on, Dad. 
I wish to extend my sincere condom lenses condolences. Always bloody corrected him, aren't you, Jerry? Uh, I merely intended to genitally gently gently touch the young lady. Jeez, you can't help yourself, can you, Jerry? It's like you got your hand stuck up his bum. Mark. We we do correct me a fair bit, Chair. I bet you wouldn't mind something else stuck up his bum, would you? Oi! Oi, that's enough! Fancy some mind numbing video. Fine, let's do a race the last five minutes, Tomo. Absolutely. Don't you worry about them, son. It always takes a little while to get used to doing new things in new ways. Here, let's go over last week's game and I'll show you where you're stuffed up again. Don't you blokes ever sleep? Oh, g'day, Keith. Come in, mate. I'll just put on some strikes. Mark, relax, mate. You haven't done anything wrong. Haven't I? No, we had a report of somebody acting suspiciously outside the house. And we found this bloke. Says he knows you. Mark, sort these blokes out, will you? I was just out for my morning walk and they're all over me. He was carrying this bag. Do you recognise any of this stuff? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah this is my dad. Yeah. I told you. Right. And what about this little treasure trove? Um, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, well we did, um, well, was, my dad, my dad thought we should, uh, um, I think what, uh, Mark is endeavouring to get across to you is that we, uh, had certain household items revalued for insurance purposes and Roy, being the kind-hearted soul that he is, decided to, uh, do that for us. At 6.30 in the morning. I realise it's a tad early, but it's the Protestant work ethic, Sergeant. What can you do? All right. We'll leave it at that then. Is that all right with you, Mark? Yeah, sweet, Sarge. Yeah, uh, thanks for keeping an eye on the joint. Let us know if you want any tickets sometime. I'll sort you out. Cheers. Off thanks you go, man. boys. Be bloody lucky if I don't see. Thanks, guys. Nice work, Jeff. Yeah, I, uh, I knew they'd see sense in the end. I just thought I'd store this stuff at my place, get it out of your hair. Thought you would uh, you wouldn't mind, Dad. Bloody coppers, always wanting to see the worst, don't they? Dad. Still, must have looked a bit bloody funny, me walking around with this big it's great... time big... to go, Dad. So what? It's time for you to go. Yeah. Yeah, well, I was gonna head off some. Got any money? Well, you know me, mate. Always manage to scrounge a quid. See you, son. See you, Dad. It was good seeing Dad again. He's one out of the box, isn't he? No big pardons where the old man's concerned. And we'll see him again. Oh, shit, yeah. Something to look forward to. As my Uncle Mick always said, onwards and upwards. OK, Mark. The ad agency's narrowed down their slogans for deception and they want your input. OK, sure. All right, number one. Mark, where is deception? Don't get caught. Mm. Bit gay. How is that gay, Mark? Tell me. Now, gay is in gay crap, not gay gay. All right. Well, okay, well, what about this? Deception for the man who needs to be wary. I'm wary of what? What? That's what I'm asking, wary of what? It's a play on words, Mark. It's referring to your name. What do you reckon? A bit gay. Gay crap? No, gay as in receiving stolen goods. My... Oh, goody, our article wow. Well.
Oh, look, it, it didn't take a genius to foresee Madison's colour piece backfiring and Sharon's cushions taking a back seat to Roy. Uh, yes, that horse is well and truly bolted. Still, uh, you know, it's important for whoever's mining the ranch to firmly shut and lock the gate. It's the uh, cowboy coming out at me again. <laughs> well, we'll have to agree to disagree there, won't we? You'll be hearing more about this, Madison, I can assure you. Well, it looks like Madison's finally done a dash with Sharon. Uh, at least some good's come out of this then. She handled the Roy fiasco remarkably well. But calling her bloody Karen... That'll do it. Why would Dad do that to me, Jet? According to Madison, he had 50,000 good reasons. Shit. I'd make up stories about myself for 50 grand. At least I got a good shot of the cushions. <laughs> you know, Jet, he's not very happy, my Dad. I just hope wherever he is, he's not suffering too much. That's very big of you, Matt. Thanks, Jay. Jerry Dabblestein. No, Mark won't be making a statement. He'll be addressing the media in the morning. Well, while I've got you there, can let me tell you this. Sledge? Put it. Oh, wait, put that. Put, no, 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 no. Sledge, put that down. Down. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, I'm feeling it more in the mornings. Well, what do you mean you think we've seen his best? Why don't you just have the balls to tell me the truth? Yeah, what is the truth, mate? You want to manage Robbie Kane? He better not be wearing my life to shame, Jared! When are you going to learn how to read? You're a dickhead, man. <laughs>